Hey everybody, have another unboxing today. This is the Uniphone Armor 3T. So this is yet another one of those rugged phones out of those small Shenzhen brands that I test a lot. But there's a difference with this one is that it has a walkie-talkie function and I actually have a walkie-talkie here to test it with. So we'll look at the specs really quick. 5.7 inch display, that's, wow, that's really small in 2018. And then you have a Helio P23, four gigs of RAM, there's NFC in this phone and it's IP69K shockproof and IP68 water and dust resistance. And you see you have a 10,300 milliamp hour battery. And about two months back, three months back, I tested all these rugged phones for the battery capacity and it, the Uniphone came off the most legit. Oh, this bag is really tight. Let me rip this open a little bit. So you know, not much to look at with the design. This is yet another one of these like rugged heavy duty phones. I mean, I've tested literally like, like 20 of these already. So you have a charging cable. Okay, this is uh, for you to clamp onto a steering wheel, like of your car. And then you can put your phone here so you can drive with this thing attached to your steering wheel. That might make turning a little bit tough because it's like heavy duty. You really gotta like power steer that thing. Oh, you have a lot of little dongles and accessories here. Oh. oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. So you have a clip, probably for clipping onto your belt. You have a screwdriver, a headphone jack dongle, another screwdriver, a micro USB to USB-C adapter, Data transfer cable. Apologies for that noise outside. That's just Hong Kong. Hong Kong is super loud all the time. So this goes on top of this. Let me try it real quick. Let me see what's in this box. This is a charging brick. This is the 18 watt fast charging brick. So you see, you have a lot of accessories in this box. So let me, I think you probably, yeah, this is a screwdriver. You need to use this to Okay, so you see, this is where that uh, antenna line, so it's almost like the back of a TV, an analog TV, back in the days when you have to plug in that little cable and make sure the pin matches up, and then you plug in the red, green, and blue cable to run your Nintendo 64. You, got, you guys remember that, right? Or maybe I'm, only I do, because I'm old. Okay, so let me get to my favorite part. Oh, that's a poor design, so... When I take off the sticker, it also rips off the screen protector. Well, um, at least they give you a screen protector, a bonus one anyway. So 5.7 inch, it's actually a good screen size because it makes the phone a little bit easier to grip because I've tested some of these rugged phones with six inch screen and then it becomes a little bit too bulky because you know, obviously there's such a chunky bezel around the phone. So you have a power button right here fingerprint sensor, right here volume rockers, and right here you have a PTT button, so this is customizable for, oh no, this might be the, rocky, the walkie talkie button, duh. All right, I'm gonna set this phone up, I'll be back. Okay, so I've set up the walkie talkie, it's connected and it works. Hello, testing. Oh wait, hello, hello. Okay, so I'm gonna give my walkie talkie to my girlfriend, she's gonna step out to the next room, and we're gonna communicate for a bit and then later i'm gonna take this out on the street and see how far the range goes so i'm headed to her she's gonna step outside now hello elizabeth can you hear me roger i can hear you roger okay so my girlfriend's right there we're gonna test the range of this uh walkie talkie can you hear me right now yes roger Okay, can you please back up a little bit, Roger? Backing up, Roger. 
You can still hear me pretty okay, quality? Perfectly, Roger. Okay, please cross the street and go down the alley. We'll see how far we can go. Are you trying to get me killed, Roger? So she's all the way down there now, trying to go further down. Are you trying to get me killed, Roger? No, Elizabeth, where are you? Okay, I see you now. So she's all the way down the alley. I'm walking down the dark alley, Roger. I can hear you, I can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. You can come back, please. Roger. Okay, so let's do a video and speaker sound test. So this phone actually has three speakers. You have front find speaker grills on the top and bottom of the phone, and then you have one more speaker grill in the back. So right now, this is a 50% volume. So we'll go up to 100 percent Okay, so 100 percent volume actually gets almost a little bit too loud. The sound gets really distorted. So I would say you want to use it at like 75 percent volume. But this is a really loud speaker. I think because the sound is also coming right at you because they're front facing. And you have sound in the back too. So this is a good phone for media consumption. It gets so loud. Okay, so now I'm going to run my usual battery test on PC Mark. So what this test does is it, it, it basically puts the phone through a bunch of heavy tasks such as processing videos, editing videos, like processing like 3D graphics, all that. And it'll start with the phone at 80% battery and drain it all the way down to 20%. Now, with a normal phone, like if I do this on like an iPhone 10, it'll probably last like 5-6 hours, maybe if that. But with this... With a ridiculous 10,300 milliamp hour battery, I'm pretty sure it's gonna last like 12 hours or more. So I'm gonna set it up and I'm gonna head out for the day and then when I come back tonight, I'll see where we're at and I'll finish the video then. So run. So here we go, this test has begun. So I'm just gonna leave this on the desk now for the next 10, 12, 15 hours. All right guys, I'm back. So you can see from the clock, it's been more than a day later. The first part of this video was on November 3rd. So now it's the 4th. I ran the PC Mark battery test. Unfortunately, PC Mark has a bug that won't show you your um, results on the app. But luckily I grabbed a screenshot. So it lasts the 14 hours, seven minutes. Now this is really good, but still a little bit disappointing because the last Uniphone device I tested that one with 13,000 milliamp hour battery, that phone lasted 23 hours. That was freaking ridiculous. But 14 hours is still really good because keep in mind, this is from 80% to 20% and with the screen on, with the chips that being heavily pushed to edit photos, edit videos, process graphics, all that and pump out sound. So this is fully powering the phone and it lasted 14 hours, seven minutes of screen on time. So that means under normal usage, screen on time will definitely get you like 18 to 20 hours which should last you three days so i used the phone all day today and um tested out some of the features a bit more tested out the camera so the heart sensor i didn't really show you in the first part of the video so let's do it right now so the heart sensor is pretty interesting you actually have to put your finger on the camera over the camera but this flash is on so right now it's measuring my heartbeat right now 66 per minute which should be accurate because right now i'm kind of active i'm like talking kind of loud and i'm at, animated normally when i'm seated seated still that i get 48 beats per minute which is a uh, okay i wish it was in the low 40s that's healthier but you know i'm getting kind of fat with the cholesterol and all that so on the back of the phone you have a single 21 megapixel camera sony imx sensor with an f 1.8 aperture the camera software is very simple you see swipe you have three modes on the front and then video resolution maxes out at 1080p now let's look at some photo samples so in the day, just like all these other budget Chinese phones, you're gonna get a pretty good shot. And I'm really impressed with the zoom. So check out this image right here. Check out how far this bus is. And I'm gonna go to max zoom. And this zoom is pretty good. Now keep in mind, there is no fake secondary camera. So it's all digital crop right here. And the digital crop is really nice. So that's where this 21 megapixel camera come in. So you see, you can look at um, the details of these people and they look pretty clean there's not a lot of like you know uh, pixelation not a lot of noise so your yeah, camera in the day it's it's gonna be good colors are a little bit on the warm side but no real complaints now even at night I'm really impressed so this is a nice shot 
It's pretty colorful. Selfie at night. Respectable. You know, dynamic range suffers a little bit, obviously, when you're shooting at night. But for a entry-level, mid-tier Chinese device, I think, you know, no real complaints. So we'll check out some video. So this is a daylight EP video right now. So you see, there is no stabilization. The video is quite jerky. But at least the colors are accurate and pretty good details. But you see, it overexposes the sky a little bit. So this phone, this camera struggles with uh, dynamic range. And then now we'll check out video at night. So again, it's the nighttime video that is surprisingly impressive. So this is a nighttime video now. So there's a little bit more jitteriness at night. But you're getting pretty good detailed in the visuals. And the sound is pretty natural. So performance, I haven't ran into much issues. There is a little bit of a RAM management problem sometimes when I open like an app. And it loads it has to reload instead of just um you know going straight to where i left it but that's not that big of a deal again this is a mid-tier entry level device now that's for day-to-day -day performance for gaming for a basic game like jcs2 the hero p23 can run it fine but for a game with heavier graphics like hero hunters 2 so right now i have to play on high which is the middle setting and it operates Okay, a little bit laggy, but now if I go to Ultra, the max setting, the game basically becomes unplayable. It's like very jerky. You have to basically play on medium or low settings. So performance, it's solid. Like nothing amazing, but not bad. So yeah, this is the Uniphone Armor 3T. So I think initially in the first part of the video, I said this phone was $299, but I think that's the crowdfunding price. I think now you can actually find it online for $250. And at that price, I think you're getting a phone with surprisingly good speakers. Front facing speakers, IP68 water resistance, dust resistance, shock proof, and that walkie talkie function is quite useful. So if you're someone who really likes to go camping, you know, go outdoors, do, do crazy treks, then this phone will help you a lot because the battery will last long. You're not gonna break it if you drop it and you can have walkie talkie function in case there's no cell reception. So to finish this video off, I'm going to test the waterproofness. Okay, that's it for now. I'm going to have more videos coming up this week. I'm going to get my hands on a new iPad and a couple of other new phones from China, including a new phone from Oppo. So if you like my stuff, please subscribe. I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.